So okay, here's the real question. Is Donnie a virgin? You gotta ask Donnie that question. Donnie, are you a virgin? Quack. <laughs> I don't speak duck, Donnie. Quack. Donnie says you should learn. You should learn? Did you know Just duck is duck? a more speak spoken language than human throughout the multiverse? <laughs> <laughs> human isn't a language, Donnie. Quack. That's racist. That's what he means. <laughs> uh, but I'd go find a thingy. Alright, so we're gonna go- you're trying to find a trade station, right? Do you have any yeah. preference? Um, no. Alright, so you're just going to the closest one then? Mm-hmm. All right. I will, I'm also not ashamed to admit I almost lost Donnie. Oh, no. It was quite a oh, no. scary time. Not Donnie. No. So, if you don't have a preference, they literally are just going to take you to the closest one. Which yeah. is going to be this one over here. Thank you, Mike. Mike! Shame, 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 shame. No, no shame! Mike Sh is going to be good for Mike, us. Mike, Mike, Mike. He's done very well. He's done very good. So, I go over to the counter. I know, right? I know, he I only almost go. dropped you one time. That was just the one time. Is <laughs> it just... Just the one time. Alright, so, uh, the, the area is over here. Over where? Over there. Okay. 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 So I go over to the counter. Uh, as you approach the counter, you see a, uh, a very... Very large, some would even say, well, actually, just large, Sphinx. Hi! Hi, Sphinx. What, what's your name? Uh, you're not gonna believe this? You're never gonna believe this. Bob. Okay. Bob? Yeah, my name's Bob. I love that name. Well, somebody had to, statistically. Mm, yeah. So, I've got lots of things. Lots um, of things, first huh? off, mm -hmm. First off, I want some clothes. Okay. Um, and I have this, I have this beautiful, and I gesture to, um, my dress. So I have this beautiful dress made out of 100% pride silk. And it's just, I'm going out in the cold, and so I really don't think it's very practical so unfortunately i'm gonna need to trade it i want for this hold on for this i want 20 gold 20 gold you say mm -hmm. i see well i have a riddle for you shit okay what's the opposite of a down. What's the opposite of left? Right. What's the opposite of yes? No. You got it! <sighs> Tell her what she's won. Nothing. I... <laughs> you know, Florence is just watching this and just gonna kindly sit right here. 15 gold? 
This is pride silk, 100% pride silk. This could not possibly go for less than 18 gold. I'm not gonna lie, it looks, uh, it looks like it belongs to, and no offense, ma'am, a whore. Not you, I'm just saying this look, these look like whore clothes. <laughs> and I would know. And? and? Uh, you know, if it, if they were new, I'd, I'd, uh, I'd have no problem paying more than 20 gold. Uh, however, they're not new, and we need to... Will, you know, verify uh, the, the, the condition of their cleanliness. Lawrence uh, th thinks about it for a minute before saying, um, got a quick question. How about this? I give you a riddle, and if it if, if it's a really good one, and it actually stumps you, you will take it for the 20. For the amount she'd ask. Well, I am tempted by this riddle, but I'm not thoroughly convinced it's in my benefit. I mean, if it is really not worth your time, you know, I mean, what's the harm in it? It's just a really bad riddle from a really, apparently a very, not very bright um, wizard, which would be an insult in general. Think about it. Well... When you put it like that, I guess there's no harm in it. Let's hear it. Alright. Oh, she's typing. There you go. There's the riddle. It's a hard one. This riddle is so good, I don't even know what it is. Well, it seems you've got me this time, tiny human. Elf. Just a sea elf. Yeah, I'm a sea elf. Good riddle, Florence. So that's 20 gold from my clothes. Yes, yes. I will take it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so now I'm in the mood for some traveling clothes. How much could I get some traveling clothes for? Well, we typically sell them for around five gold. Mm -hmm. However, since you started a game of riddles, as a sphinx, I'm obliged to continue. Oh, okay. of course. <laughs> of course, and so, yes. should you fail my riddle, these clothes are going to cost you 15 gold. Three times the price, okay. 12 gold. I don't think we're gonna get be a you you don't you don't haggle with even even Florence the the haggler queen knows this like no we started a riddle contest with a sphinx this is going down <laughs> he could ask for your fucking soul right now <laughs> <laughs> fine 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 fifteen gold ah, fine ah. yeah sorry that one was. 
I just love that because even Florence, who's always like, well, she's just like, all right, yeah, no, we're, we're doing no, this. No, we already got a, I got a, got a, got a, got a you fucked me, Florence. <laughs> but I'll answer the question. <laughs> I'll answer it. Shit, I started this. I started it. Sorry, I gotta respond to something. No problem. Mm hmm Yeah, this is why, like I said, this is... This is comedy at its best. Because <laughs> Florence managed to stop the Sphinx, but at the same token... She's probably going to get, get a riddle that's probably just as difficult. Hmm? All right, so that's done. Now I can do that. It's not that. It's not that. Just, it's just. I have to be. I played smart here. I to get you the clothes. <laughs> fine, fine. Mm, yeah, that's the hindsight of twenty twenty. But it's it worth. It's worth it. Out of character right now, mm -hmm. I am super duper worried that when I present this deck of many things, they're gonna be pissed at me. Really? Uh, now you're thinking of hindsight now? Oh, I'm not thinking about it now. I thought about it at the time too. But I'm acting in Carly that she would take that deck of many car deck of many things. And this is why Florence is damn right straight uh, worried shitless of the idea of doing a heist. Is amplified. In between time yet before inception, inside, in betwixt, and yet no direction. Are we allowed to talk between ourselves to guess? By all means, tiny mortals. And now, I'm only mortal until proven- I'm only- I'm immortal until proven otherwise. <laughs> if somebody asks you if you're a god, you say yes. I am mortal until proven otherwise. I- 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 statistically, you cannot prove I can die until I do die. God damn it, my bad. Michael, the, ignore the last part on that. It went into the wrong chat box. <laughs> Florence, Florence, I bet it's the letter I. Psych, it actually does that, Michael. Now you got ants. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Florence, I bet it's the letter I. In between time. This is hard without without, without uh, punctuation. I hope you enjoy these. Yes, yes, I do. Oh, heck, I do. Because I've already I've I've start I've just started something, and I don't know if I should be glad I am continuing it or just downright worried. Yeah, you know, I'm just happy everyone's having fun. I'm having lots of fun. Who are you 
So, tiny mortals, have you have you finished discussing amongst yourselves? Uh, give us one moment. Any chance Flores can do an insight? Uh, not insight, but intelligence check to figure out what the heck it would probably be. Go for it. Please, for goodness sake, this is comedy hour. So you think it has something to do with the way that the riddle is worded? Well, it's probably in Florence kind of thinks it over before giving Carla, Carly her tidbit facts, uh, thoughts on it. Of having to do with something with the riddle itself, rather than it's a thing. Hmm? There we go, now I can hear us. Mm -hmm. Did we get the answer? No, not yet, but Florence did say um, she did find some tidbits that she, it has she, to do with... Uh, she came upon a moment of clarity about the riddle. Mm. That it, it has to do with the riddle, not with an item. You know, object, right? Yeah. 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 So it has to do with the riddle, not with an object. Mm -hmm. So fucking it is, I fucking bet no. it is like a letter I or a sundial or something. In between time, yet before inception, inside, in betwixt, and yet in no direction. I g grow impatient. <laughs> no, 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 no need to be. Just like, you know. <laughs> I mean, uh, Florence, I think, I don't know. What do you think, Florence? <sighs> I, put, I started this and I should have thought this entirely through. Anyway, so, you know. Is it a letter? I bet it's a letter. Um. Hmm. Hmm. It's not that I'm giving up on it, it's just like... Hmm. Um... Is Carly allowed to do an in uh, intelligence check like I just did? <laughs> what, is it higher than 22? <laughs> I mean, you I can mean, try. Maybe you get a crit. Yeah, I know! Come on! <laughs> intelligence, you said? Yes! That would be the plus, it would be the 20, you know, the d20, and then plus the mod. Yeah. yeah. Good. I have high hopes for it. <laughs> I got a six. Oh. You're yeah, almost certain. Uh, you're almost certain it's the letter I. I'm almost certain it's the letter I. Like, like pretty sure. In between the. Um... <laughs> <sighs> I know where he's growing impatient. Look, look. Sphinxes, despite being quite old, are quite impatient. Yeah, I know. I know that. This is what is. Mm. In. Do we just only get one attempt, or is it two? <laughs> only the one little human. Or elf. elf. He says he's with the elf. He just does that to fuck with you. <laughs> <laughs> he's throwing you off your game. 
hey, I didn't do this to you, you know that, right? I bold of you to assume. Bold of you to assume that I've ever been on my game. Uh huh. All right. He's 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 winding down. He's he's about to demand an answer. What are we going, Florence? With? Florence, what's your answer? I mean, but I've got a quick question, Axel. With the yeah. twenty-two, do I at least know it's a con? Is it a concept? Or is it is the answer purely in the riddle? It's purely in the riddle. Purely in the riddle. So it's not a concept. Like, you know, you know, not just that it's giving you half of time, but what goes with time. Yeah, no, it's not like a philosophical concept like time or space or love or something. Uh, okay. Okay. Okay, so we at least narrowed down it wouldn't be that answer. We're gonna be demanded of an answer, Florence, I don't know. Yeah, in between telling the answer. Also, quick question. Um, am I just standing there naked? Currently, yeah. Nice. Yeah, this is why, in hindsight, you probably should have talked me into saying, hey, maybe a free item if we have see something that's gonna do. I would have bought no. clothes and then sold my clothes. Nah. Not you, where I'm from. Because then you stand p from the position of the high ground of clothing. Bold of you to assume I won't walk outside naked. Into the snow? I mean, you did it before. Yeah. I did it before! <laughs> yeah, this is true. I, we have to keep this in mind. Well, that time wasn't really by choice, was it? No. No. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm trying to. <laughs> oh, heck, is he alive? That was perfectly he... whispered. <laughs> I will literally laugh my behind off. That was. Yeah, d just since that's already out there, I rolled a 20. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Oh, oh, man, this is great. This is great. Can we just appreciate that for five seconds? Can we appreciate <laughs> Anything to give us just a couple more seconds to figure out this fucking myrtle. Just a couple more seconds, huh? The ten, ten minutes has been <laughs> enough. <laughs> Michael, Michael over here, dreadful glaring at shit. Like, and are they gonna finish this riddle? <laughs> oh, Kelly, you think that's gonna help right now? No, not really. I mean, if you're trying to glare dreadfully glare at both, of them, it's not gonna work really nicely. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Oh god, I'm, I, I, come on, you can't tell me that wasn't Lazy Horse. Oh, that was great. Yeah. I was just like, yeah. Good job, Michael. It's alright, I've done it a couple times. Yeah. Anyway. Women. Yes, we know, we know, we know. Who are you calling women? women. Man. Uh, the mm. women. <laughs> 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 Is it second? Lawrence, is it a second? Is it... Is it... The letter I? Is it... Uh... Is it... Down. It's not in, it in a no direction, so I'm gonna... Is it leap? Is it the imaginary letter I? <laughs> you know, like in math. Yeah, I know, and that's why I'm laughing at it. <laughs> oh, hell. 
on the floor. I, I'm just sitting here waiting for your official answer. <laughs> Shit, we can be here all night with this fucking riddle. I love it because I just, I was like, I saw that other one. I was like, yeah, I don't know this one. Yeah, no, so I was like, all right, I, I give it. Okay. I was like, okay, I give. Fuck it. <laughs> and I've done my Joe Bird. Did you see? This is what is great. Florence, give me an answer. Five. Four. Okay, Three. no, 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 no. Do not start timing and then shoot. No. <laughs> you're, in, you're, behind, you're in this position because you you're decided, in. hey. <laughs> okay, we're going with the letter I. That's our official answer. Is that our official answer? Yes. Oh, oh. good God. You are correct. It is the letter Me? I. Yes. No, it's not. It is definitely the letter I. It is in between time, I, yet before, inception, inside, in betwixt, and yet in no direction. Yeah, exactly. I just, I was overthinking. <laughs> there's a so lot of little things, there's a lot of little things to throw you off. For example, the no before direction, uh, the fact that inception, it starts as the eye but it's before it it meets all the standards it needs to but it's tricky it's not like a give me like at the end of time and at the beginning of eternity okay 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 hold on hold on a second here you guys did i outsmart our local wizard oh shush you <laughs> yes, I'm gonna look you, at you, you say, noticed that you i have... gave you the answer when you rolled a six right <laughs> yeah <laughs> I outsmarted a wizard. She rolled a twenty-two, so I gave her a vague answer. Why the hell would you give me the vague answer here? Because you were overthinking it. I'm so smart! Oh my god! So smart. That's the one. Lawrence is gonna just look at it. Okay, yep, she at least solved her problem. It was immediate too. It was like I thought it's the letter I. <laughs> okay, but so, keep this in uh, mind. I, you can't answer the riddle that Florence just gave. Keep this in mind. Oh yeah, I have no idea what the fuck that is. I thought so. <laughs> I freaking thought so. so. And so I, I get which... some cool clothes. Are they free? You or at least... got them for five. Good for you. Yeah, I did. So I'm, I put on my cool, my, my nice clothes. What do they look like? Uh, traveler. Is it, ooh, <laughs> can, I, can I explain what they look like? Sure. <gasps> Yay! Okay, okay, okay. There, so there like... it is, well as, um, Axel, there's your answer. Here, let's see. Uh... So, I'm not, so they're so like... Do not spoil it for her. <laughs> they're like a brown pair of... Or no, no, no. They're a white pair of insulated leggings. And they're super duper cute. And then I have a little brown skirt. It's just for flair. It's not really like a skirt skirt. It's just like a little flare skirt. It's super cute. Um, and then I have a nice like white like coat because I look really good in white. Um, and it has a hood. And I have little gloves too because I need little gloves in the cold. Sounds pretty fancy for Travis clothes, but all right. I mean, I can make it brown. Because I also look good in brown. It's, uh, the, uh, Axel, there's your answer to that smart ass wrist mark. Yeah. I haven't heard of that in quite a while. Yeah. Trust me, it, it, when I first heard it, I was like, the fuck? I mean, if I was on the subject of. Yeah, if I was thinking of that particular subject, but most people might not even know about that. Yeah. So it's a very, but like, it... unique one. Yeah, but at least it's screwed with you. You can't uh, give me credit for that. Oh, it was a good one. Like I said, I was looking at it. I was like, this doesn't fit anything of a standard riddle. And it's talking about something very specific. But also, give me credit for where it is. I managed to stump a sphinx. I will take that. Well, the That's sphinx managed to stump you with a fucking level 5 <laughs> riddle. <laughs> oh, come on. But mine actually took some freaking thought. <laughs> it's all about results, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but well, mine got the ver- oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold the phone here. But I got her to get these clothes at like 20, sell these things at 20. Versus yeah, how much are you gonna dull. get? How much yeah, how much are you gonna, gonna get, get if she- clothes? 
Uh, she saved, I think, 15 or 10. Nice. 10, because he was gonna do three times the amount. No, that's how much we were gonna have to buy our traveler's clothes for. How much was I going to get for the dress? The original one, when you were gonna, before, you were probably gonna get... Yeah. 10? Because you were haggling around, like, 15 at the time, so you probably mm -hmm. got 5 extra gold from that. Nice, nice. Okay. All right, where is this goddamn okay. number? All right, there we go. Uh, so, Why are you like this, though, guys? Are you guys gonna actually give me shit on this? Can we just... Okay. <laughs> I... I'm sorry I overthought it. That's, that's why I'm giving you shit on it. <laughs> okay, but I gave you one that you wouldn't think of. It was out of the box. So, I would like to get some armor. Mm -hmm. Some magic armor. I see. What do you have in the way of magic armor? Well, we have everything under the sun. Except for the sun. Bastard. Well, the sun isn't under the sun. You don't know that. <gasps> but you technically the sun, the sun is underneath the sun because all the stars are suns. They're just far away. Also, one part of the sun would be under the sun. Yeah. Just, you know, theoretically speaking. Relation. Math. It took us ten minutes to get the letter I. Do you want to sit here and talk about theoretical physics? <laughs> Alright, you know, uh, we have a lots of harbor. What are you looking for is the question. Well, so, I'm a bard, right? And we want some, like, bard armor. Like, something that'll make me, like, better as a bard. But, like, harder to hit, you know? Because right now my armor class is 13. So I want to be harder to hit, but also look fly as fuck. So you want some glamour freaking armor. Oh, Florence just kind of... <gasps> Do they have that? that? Do they have glamour armor? Florence kind of looks at the sphinx like, there's your, there's your, there's, there you go. Just tell her, give her a good ideal, and you kind of sold her on it. <gasps> or at least is, there an armor? is there an armor that let me change my appearance? Not appearance, but at least you can have a nice set of outfits, probably. So the other question is, what armors are you proficient in? Light, heavy, medium? Um, um light. Well, we have some glamoured studded leather that's quite nice. Mm-hmm. Ooh. And which that probably would suit her nicely. What does it do? Oh! Uh, do you want me to explain to her what it does, or do you want to do it as the... I think you're more on, uh... You're more used to explaining things to her. How about you? You do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I think it's, it's... I'm starting to wonder if it's an unpaid job. It tends to be. You're paid. You're paid in my love and affection. <laughs> Lord looks at you and Carly like, the hell it is that? <laughs> I was just yeah. naked a second ago. You know, I could absolutely. Never mind. Go ahead. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I said Lord. never mind. You didn't hear anything. Go ahead. Lord, I'm just <laughs> ignore that. <laughs> And explain what the hell the armor freaking does, studded leather does. While wearing his armor, you gain plus one to your AC. You can also use the bonus action and to speak the armor's command word and cause the armor to assume appearance of a normal set of clothes or some kind of armor. You decide what it looks like, including color, style, and accessories, but the armor retains its normal bulk and weight. The illusionary appearance lasts until you use the property again, or remove the arm. And that can happen as many times a day as I want? Yeah. You don't have to attune to it. And my AC would only be 14. No, no. Keep in mind. It is your... Let me give you... Because Florence does is proficient in light armor, so she would probably be able to give you a rough idea. Well, because my armor class right now, without any armor, is 13. But what's your dex mod? Uh, plus 3. So it would be 15, plus 1, it would be 16. Oh, hell yeah! 
Why? So do you want it? I do want it. There you How go. much is it? How much are you asking for it? Well. <clears throat> so I've done my job as a tour guide. Sorry. You did so good. I'm so proud of you. Don't actually patronize it. I'm not. I'm being very serious. Yeah, no, I know. It's just that I have to be have, have some sort of humor with it. Well. Now, it does usually depend. Uh, it can range. Uh, generally, we charge around 2,500 gold or so. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it can be more depending on the set you get. We do have some special glamoured studded armor that actually uh, transforms into specific sets of clothing. Oh. Oh. Yes. I mean... You see, most uh, glamoured studded armor can only assume a normal set of clothing. Or another kind of armor. These glamoured sets of armor, the nicer sets, uh, can be set to any clothing that you have seen. Don't. I could dress up. like a princess if I want to. Oh, is what you're dear. saying? Yes. Is what you're saying to me right now? Fuck. Okay. And How much did that one be? <laughs> Meanwhile, Florence is slowly thinking to herself, "This is probably poor life decisions at its finest." Building. So, what, uh, what do you think about our glamorous studded armor? Are you interested, or would you like to see other things? I am definitely interested. And I'm interested to know. Um, give me one moment, please. How much was the how much was the fancy um glamour armor? That's going to be roughly four thousand eight hundred gold. Hmm. Four thousand eight hundred, you say. Um, out of character, a wondrous item, how, uh, how much does that typically cost, a wondrous item? Generally speaking, do you want me to explain it or no? Uh, so, it can depend. The problem is, a lot of items in the... A lot of the named items have a wider variety of spells and stuff so when you get them they can be up and down certain items like this though are more kind of like bog standard they don't have like a bunch mm -hmm. of different stuff going on so the prices don't vary a bunch yeah. and so like these are usually kept on a scale i'd say that for a typical uh probably anywhere between one and five or even one in ten but it depends on the item uh, but also it depends on probably the uh, you know grade of it is right, and that's the other thing. Like you can have a wondrous mm -hmm. item, but if, is it rare? Is it common? Is it super rare? Say yeah. it was a deck of many things. That's a legend. Yeah, yeah. that is a legend. Ew. Yeah. Yes. How much would that be? So, all right, like this is probably one of the best ones I've ever read on it because I've you know I read sometimes. And it's pri it's a pricing uh, magic items thing from the angry GM thread, which he's not always the best, but the the general sense of it is there's like like different levels, right? You have minor items and major items, kind of. So minor items are usually like have single use or limited use or uh, a very limited number of charges. 
mm-hmm. or a very limited number of permanent use, a small permanent. Then you have majors, which have high single use limits, yeah. high limited use limits, or not high single use, high single use spell uh, levels, high single use limits, uh, low low or high level, low recharge times or high count charges, and then yeah. just major permanent items, which are like the top level ones. And then you okay. have common, uncommon, rare, very rare, and legendary, as well as like, you know. Artifact. The, yeah. Which we usually don't use artifact level stuff if we can help it, because they're basically world level items. Yeah. Okay. And, and which this is. Yeah, there's a reason why there's certain books, that, you know. So when asking about an item, I would say that the rarity is more important than whether it's wondrous or cob, you know, like any of that. Not common, but okay. Average. So then I should have said legendary. How much is a legendary item? Usually, uh, upwards of a couple hundred thousand gold. Probably like, even higher. Yeah, it just depends. <laughs> so like, the deck of many things is one that's pretty high, I assume. Yeah, because, because it's. it's- yeah, you can explain that one. Because it generally is not common as say, um, I want to say something. I'm trying to think of something that would probably be like the pipe that um, what's her face has, but uh, acts let me have instead of barred item. Even okay. Though, yeah, that's probably one. <laughs> what the fuck? My, what the heck are you dealing with on that end? Chaos. Clearly. All the all the noise that was stolen from Jewel was given to Michael. Great. <laughs> Great. So, Someone. okay. Go ahead. Hmm. Okay, let's put the armor to the side for now. Don't put it away because I definitely want it, but let's put it to the side for now. Mm-hmm. I want to get my girl Florence here some armor too. Mm-hmm. So I mean, Florence, what kind of armor do you want? I mean, I can use the same type of armor that you you wear. Don't fucking steal my glamoured studded armor. I'm not I will saying kill that. You. I'm just telling you, like, wear the similar. Florence kind of looks at you like, I'm not planning on stealing it, sweetheart. I... I'm telling you to tell the Sphinx what armor you want. I know, but I'm giving you at least some to narrow down. I use light armor. She's a wizard and she wants light armor. Yes, I'm sorry that I'm a blade singing arm. a oh, wizard. I'm sorry I exist. Do not actually follow that up. <laughs> I told you dare say it. She wants. Takes she wants. Notes. Takes notes for AU. <laughs> Son of a gun, do not use this shit. That's because I've agitated you by my character existence. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> and he is funny to watch. Is like, fucking heck, will you die? Or at least take some damage from the damn Sahaga? No, no, I will not take damage from him, of all people. Oh, you I will make you take it. damage. Yeah, you will make, make me take substance damage. <laughs> Substitity damage. That is not <laughs> So, yes, she would like some uh, light armor. Maybe yeah. studded leather? Yes, yeah, so it does like, I, mean, I don't know if it needs to be fancy, because she hasn't. She just told me light armor. She's not very picky. I mean, let me see. What's. Can I get a catalog of what is available well, for light armor? We have quite a bit. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have them currently categorized by heavy light. Uh, I will give you a list of some of our current inventory, at least uh, in the armor department. Uh, we have a plate armor of etherealness. A little heavy for you, I'm sure. Uh, we have some very nice uh, spell guard shields. Not armor, but just saying. Yeah. Uh, we do have a particularly nice set of elven chain. We have a very good set of mariner's armor. And... Uh, We've we've had this one set uh, of armor of vulnerability for a while, but once again, a bit heavy for you. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's see, let's see, what can I work with? Ah, and of course, the glamorous studded armor. 
that you have. Yeah, but but th th those are simply from our stock selection. Yeah. Yes, we yes. do have specialty selections of armors that you can only find made here. However, their price tends to be quite a bit higher, as they are oh. hard to find in other places. Of course. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. thinking and it's just a you know is there well she's thinking about it yeah you might i was also considering some kind of magic ring of some sort something that'll make that'll both look cool and do a lot of damage what do you think by way of magic rings magic rings you say Mm -hmm. Oh boy, you'll be here all day. Cause yes, there's a lot. Even just in the uh, basic section, there's a good amount of rings. You have a ring of jumping, a ring of mind shielding, a ring of swimming, a ring of water walking, a ring of animal influence, a ring of evasion, a ring of free action, a ring of resistance, a ring of spell storing, a ring of x-ray vision, a ring of the round, a ring of regeneration. Wait a minute, a ring what? <laughs> Florence got to look at the Sphinx like, ring of what? Ring of the which one? <laughs> There's a lot of rings. I know, but the X-ray one. Did you ah, yes, the ring of X-ray vision. Quite a fun yeah. one. Oh, good. How do you want a ring of X-ray vision? Why would you? Because Florence is a fucking perv. Perv. No, Florence <laughs> is just going to be stopper and because that's like, why? Would, why does that ring exist? Let me ask that. Reference. You know why that ring exists? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Of How about, I want a ring that'll do, I want a damage ring. Like a ring that I can cast like a spell from, maybe? Because I don't have much by way of damage spells, if I'm being completely honest. Well, the ring of the ram is usually an excellent ring for that. It is a bit pricey sometimes, but... What's it do? Well, it has three charges, which it expends, uh, which you can regain one three D3 of each at dawn every day while wearing the ring you can use an action to expend one to three of its charges to attack one creature you see within 60 feet it produces a spectral ram's head and makes its attack roll with a plus seven on hit you charge and uh or on each charge you spend the target takes 2d10 force damage and pushed five feet away from you Alternatively, you can expend one of the three charges as an action to try to break an object you see within 60 feet of you that isn't being worn or carried. It makes a hmm. strength check with a plus five for each charge you spend. Hmm. What's it look like? It actually looks like a little ram. That cools hell. Yeah. How much does it cost? Well... An arm and a leg. Mm. Hush. I disembodied voice. Hush. <laughs> disembodied voice. That is quite a disembodied voice, though. Be a good boy. Be a good kitten. Go lay down. Hmm. Anyway, uh, this this one can be quite pricey. It usually starts around three thousand gold and can get upwards of ten, depending on the variation you get. Okay, how much would? What kind of variations are there? Well, we have different animals for one. Some some people find that interesting and needed. Uh, we have more charges, we have faster recharges, and we do have a very, very special version of it. Oh, tell me your special version of it. Unfortunately, the special version is for our VIP clientele. Are we not a very important client? Well, you haven't spent or made enough money here yet, so no. 
How, what? Well, I've made, I've bought, I've got a, quite a bit of interesting things here. Well, I, uh, I don't think we've seen any of them. Florence, have you decided on your armor yet? <laughs> Florence? Florence is gone. No. <sighs> Could you not at least tell me about this, the special ring? The special ring ram? Ring ram of the ring? Let's just say that you will have a new friend. How much would that cost? That one is our capped one. That one is usually 10,000. Okay. One more thing I want to ask about. Um, see this little crossbow here that I have? And I put the crossbow on the counter. I want a better crossbow. I see. So I want to. What do you have by ways of better crossbows? Well, crossbows. Those can be tri quite tricky. You see, crossbows are not usually popular items in the uh, magic community. Mm -hmm. You see, sometimes we have long bows, and sometimes we have short bows, and sometimes that's all we have. So you don't have any crossbows? Not that we don't have any, just very few. Hmm. So I imagine, I imagine what you do have would be very interesting. Well, they are. It's, most of them are in-house items. Okay. Okay, I am back. I am sorry about oh, that. Good, good. Yeah. good. We're just asking about crossbows. Oh, goody. Yes, mm -hmm. I was telling her about the unfortunate lack of crossbows in the magic community. I know, right? There, There's uh, a few regular bows that are magic. But see, I have this crossbow. Yes, yes, I, I see that. Mm. So what's our magic? Really, that's for the armor. Let's see. So, the... Few that we have include a flame tongue crossbow, one of our more popular models. Mm -hmm, no doubt. It's called that because it likes to tongue flames. <laughs> and in addition to that, we obviously have some very very interesting spellcaster bows which allow you to convert your magic into lightning or fire arrow damage hmm we have a tri crossbow <laughs> There is a legit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold the phone. There's actually a legitimate. That is a legitimate item. I thought. I... Yeah, you thought I was bullshitting. <laughs> yeah, no. I, I told you there were some. Just not a lot. I, I thought you were just mildly just having a kick for five. Uh, I mean, seconds. some of them are. I mean, the second you know it isn't. But yeah, the flame, the flame one. Yeah, total. No, no, I'm talking about the rings and us. Uh, uh, um, oh, the x-ray ring? No! Yeah. Why would I make up an x-ray ring? I mean, that's how we be bullshit! <laughs> yeah. Look, I... sound like they'll be bullshit? It's D&D! &D. 
I, here's the thing is like all the stuff that I make up sounds real. All of D and D stuff sounds fucking ridiculous. <laughs> That's the you know, lay I'm of the law. Listening. If they have an if they have an X ray ring in D and D, does that also mean they have X ray in D and D? Like an X ray machine to look at fucking bones? No, it's a spell. <laughs> Why? That doesn't make it. Never mind. Of course, sure it doesn't does. make sense. D&D. It's D&D. The, the spell produces x-rays. That's why it's called an x-ray machine. I wonder, I have to wonder, uh, 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 do they know about radiation in D&D? That I can't tell you. I mean, radiant damage is a thing, so keep this in mind. Radiant damage is a thing. But that, I don't think that means radiation. Which is a fucking baller if it did. I mean, it is, I'm not gonna get into funny running gag jokes that you just opened a can of worms of now. I think I think we're getting off track though. A little bit. A little, a little bit, bit off yeah. track. I mean, that's what you you girls do best though. <laughs> true. True. This is very true. We just love to chatter. So and for the viewers about- at home, I don't mean girls in general. I literally mean these two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. No, he's okay. super duper. He super duper means it. Like, in oh, the they can way. watch the videos. I've got proof. He starts this shit. He starts. So, so. So tell me what how much extra damage does the flame tongue uh crossbow do? So the flame tongue crossbow. Mm-hmm. Boom, boom, boom. Uh you speak a command word causing flames to erupt from the ammunition uh and shedding light uh within a 40 foot radius and dim light for another 40 feet while these Ammo are ablaze, it will deal an extra 2d6 fire damage to any target it hits. It will last until you use a bonus action to speak the command word again, or until you, uh, you know, uh, holster your uh, crossbow. Okay. And the tri-crossbow, is that literally just shooting three, three crossbow bolts? It does, but shoots them in different directions. Awesome. There, okay. there, are, there are a couple of others. Oh, a couple others? Yes, we have the net bow. Fun. Sounds fun. Yeah, it shoots a net. <laughs> Anything else? Well, there, there are a couple that I'm not sure if you're in the price range for. Ooh, imagine I am in the price range. Okay, well... If we were to imagine you were in the price range, we have the Ghost Caster. The Ghost Caster? Yes, it shoots ethereal bolts. They pass directly through physical armor. Okay. We also have a very, uh, very nice teleporting crossbow. You shoot teleporting the, yes you shoot the 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 you know bolts and you teleport to where they land okay and this is our final one one which i am not supposed to tell you about because you are not a vip but i will tell you about it because there aren't many crossbows and it's never no one doesn't come by it mm-hmm this one is the bow cross. The the bow cross. Yes. It's what a, does it do? It's a holy weapon. It is a crossbow shaped like a cross that shoots iron stakes. It gets plus ten against vampires. Oh. It belong to a certain man. Oh, was that certain man Van Helsing? No, actually. It was Hell Vancing. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was either going to be that or it was going to be some kind of off put Belmont name. It was Deadpool. It was Deadpool. <laughs> Don't ask why. 
the ethereal bolts does that take like special bolts or can it be like my bolts that i have because we got 160 of the fuckers so the way that the uh ghost caster works is you must place bolts within the quiver for the caster for 24 hours for them to become ghost bolts if they are removed from the quiver for more than an hour they revert to normal bolts only ethereal bolts can only be shot by the ghost caster and can and the ghost caster can only shoot ethereal bolts okay okay that's interesting um how much extra damage do the ghost bolts do they don't do any extra damage oh they just go through armor yes okay hmm how much would the flame tongue uh uh crossbow run ya or run me i suppose Usually, we charge around 3,500. Okay. However, it can range upwards to about 6,000, depending on uh, the difference, because we do have some offshoots, of course, as we do with all of our in-house items. We, mm -hmm. do, we do believe that specificity is the best when it comes to business. Of course. What what sort of specifications do you put on it? That what does it do special? Well, we can sometimes make the bolts do extra actions, explode, trace targets. Uh, we can sometimes make the effect change color. That's a popular one. Oh, fun! Yes, and uh, our crowning achievement to date is to shoot confetti instead of fire. <laughs> Great at okay. parties. Very yeah, of course, yeah. Sounds like it. I. How about one that can do multiple shots really? in a single turn? Ah, you were looking for a speedcaster. Unfortunately, uh, those don't exist usually, as those are having hastening magic on them. Man. Okay, then how about just one that would do extra extra damage? Well, the frost brand does extra damage. I'm sorry, the what? Or sorry, the frost band and the flame tongue brand. brand, brand. Frost band and flame tongue? It's frost brand, my bad. Brand, oh, okay. And flame tongue, yes. Okay. Are they two separate things, or are they one thing? They are technically two separate things. They're very similar, though. Okay, okay. I'm guessing one does, like, ice or cold damage, and one does fire damage? Essentially. Okay. I'm gonna stick with flame. The flame tongue. Um. Hmm. Okay, um, how about the flame tongue that makes, um, purple flame? How much would that cost? Uh... Well, that one with just a color adjustment will probably only be around 5,000 gold. Remind me one more time of the, of the other things you could do to it, other than the color. For the flame brand, it was mostly the color. Okay, okay. So the flame tongue crossbow would be 5,000 gold. Florence, have you picked out your armor yet? <laughs> and Florence is looking through the catalog of weapons at this point. <laughs> uh, she's like, oh, wait, wait, what? Huh? 
Have you picked out your your armor yet? Your armor. Oh, I might have strayed away from that. Sorry. <laughs> and she kind of flips back. <laughs> keep focused. Keep focused. I'm sorry. I got distracted on the finesse weapons. And every <laughs> everyone make a perception roll. Daddy. Daddy. Oh. I like it because now whenever I say that, everyone freaks out. So she's gonna have her soul roll too. God, please. And those two just rolled you there. Me. What happened? Gosh darn it. Son of a gun. What is about to happen to us? There we go. How much Here's a fun... was your perception? I'm sorry? How much was your perception? I was supposed to roll a perception? Oh yeah, I called for a perception roll. Oh, sorry. Uh... Ten. Okay, good to know. We all got cussed over in some Oh no. Um, so I have one more question before I wait for Florence to decide what she wants. Um, do you have any cool loots? That do fun things. Oh, we have a very wide assortment of magical <laughs> instruments. Yeah, fun. there's plenty for bards, if I remember correctly. Yeah. It, I could sit here and talk about them, because I, well, you know, I, I've seen some. I'm interested to know what you recommend for cool loots. Ooh, the Sphinx or me? The Sphinx. Okay, that was uh, Well, it depends on the level of which you're searching. Out of character, you guys said the deck of many things can run like a hundred thousand gold. Oh, or more. It's actually or more? Okay. It's, it's actually most likely like a priceless item because you can't buy it anywhere. Yeah. Okay. The deck. Okay. Like this is probably the only place you could actually buy the deck of many things for. Most of the time, you like buy it off of some shady street dude, or you kill a dragon for it. Oh, nice. Or you run into an oracle that gives you it, it gives you the lovely for each, you know, card. Okay. Okay. So I want, I want just what I want your loot that look that is just the coolest. So you're looking for our absolute best loot. Yeah. Well, the best, absolute best loot that we have is the DOS loot. DOS loot? What does it do? Well, it's a little bit, it's, it's a complicated instrument. So. Of course. The DOS loot is, well, one, it's a bard only item, mm -hmm. and it's a bit uncommon. <laughs> bard only, okay. And it is a symbol of the legendary bard college for which it is named, or for which the college is named, actually. I don't know of a DOS college. Well, sorry, the loot. The College of Loot is named after the DOS loot. Oh, okay, okay. Fair, fair. So the DOS loot has some interesting things. You can use your action to play the instrument and cast one of its spells. However, once... This instrument has been used to cast a spell. You cannot use that spell until the next day. You can play this okay. instrument. You can also play this instrument while casting a spell that causes any of its targets to be charmed on a failed saving throw, thereby imposing disadvantage on the save. However, this only applies if the spell has a somatic or a material component. Impose disadvantage. 
on charm spells. With Wait a S minute. Can I ask a question? Yes. Does she what can she does can she discern about the whole bard only kind of spell? You're way quiet again. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Away from my face. Uh, so I was asking what... Can she kind of discern which, um, magical item? Is there any more than what he's list- uh, the Sphinx is listing? Oh, I mean, he's- there's tons and tons of magic items. He's got a bunch that he hasn't listed or aren't listed because they're custom. Okay. Yes. I'd not try to be a smarty. I'm just like, wait a minute. No, no, I'm just what saying this is like his list is large. Yeah, this is why Florence is sitting here looking at a list of uh, magic items, and that's what's more going to be more of a pain in the ass for her to pick out. Yep. Uh, also, this instrument, as well as all other uh, instruments of DOS and the, their broad cartilages, can use fly, invisibility, levitate, and protection from evil and good. In addition, this loot in specific can cast Animal Friendship, Protection from Energy, Only Fire, and Protection from Poison. But is... Yeah. In addition... But I have to... uh, your expertise in this instrument will aid you in recalling all lore related to your instrument with a plus three. You have a increased ability to put on a good show. And you can, as part of a long rest, compose a new tune and lyrics for your instrument that you may use to impress a noble or spread scandalous rumors with your catchy tune. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. How much is that going to cost? How much will that cost? Well, it can change. However, the loots, depending on their make and quality, can range anywhere from 500 gold to 28,000. But how much is the DOS loot going to cost? Well, there are several versions of the DOS loot. Oh, of course. What's what's the coolest version you have? Oh, the one I mentioned. You asked, How much will that You cost? asked for the best. That's the 28,000 one. The 20... Okay, that one would be 28,000. Okay, 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 okay. 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 She's got a quick question while she's sorting that out. For any armor, so I have a quick question. Sure. So I do see this one, and she points to the um her Harold, the hireling outfit uh, armor, or the, as well as she points to the hide of the feral's guardian. Um, those two. Do you have them? Could you repeat them again? Sorry. Um, the hireling one, the hireling armor. Let me look through my list. If not that, I was thinking maybe the hide of the feral guardian, if that's available. Well, I'm just curious because that is interesting. We do, in fact, have one set of older Heward's armor. Uh, however, we do not have any of the other. Okay. Um. Any, uh, any chance I can get an understanding of? Is it just purely leather? I'm seeing it's leather, but I was wondering if it comes in studded. It can. We have a variation in studded leather. Hmm. It does cost extra, and it unfortunately some of its uh extra pizzazz had to be cut off to add in the studs. However, it is still a very good set of armor. It's just, it, you know why I'm asking. <laughs> I do. It's just this curiosity that it's more than anything. Mm. 
And then there was the few others, but I'm just... I'm looking for that up through it a little bit longer. But just that was my bigger question here. Well, uh, Florence, I think I'm done here. So you got, uh, like, a couple minutes to decide. I well, I, I, I do some... I'm gonna do some math real quick. Oh, of course. No, naturally, that makes sense. It's just... A... Out of character, while well, Florence does all that, uh, does all her looking, um, how is this gonna work in way of taxing? Because I technically, technically, all of this stuff would be a gain, but I've paid for it with things that I, quote unquote, gained at the casino. All so I already gains it in the and game. losses must be paid for with tax. So how will that work with all this armor and stuff that we're getting. Well, you will have been charged tax for the money that you earned, and then you will be taxed for the money that you spend to buy the items. Well, now, here's a question. It's when I leave, right? Hey, Boo, can you fucking chill? It's when I leave the tax is applied, right? So it's whatever I no longer have when I leave the space, correct? Yes and so no. Like, it it is what is on your person and what you have gained and lost while you were in the space. So for instance, were you to then sell your armors, you would still have to pay the price of the sales, but no longer the taxes from the earnings of the armor. So, now that I am in possession of this deck of many things, how will that work for my taxes? Ah, the deck. The invaluable deck. Mm-hmm. Get, mm -hmm. the, get the f*** out of here. Take it. You want me to take it? Get it out of here. We don't want it. It's a hassle. It's coming back here anyway. So they're just gonna... Okay, so... Hmm. So I was gonna trade all this stuff for the deck of many things is an invaluable item. Why would we trade you for something that's going to come back to us? It's an out of character question. <laughs> because of my yeah. <laughs> I was I was I knew that was what your plan was. <laughs> I I just didn't I was waiting for you to come to the logic of like why would we buy the deck from you? It's coming back. Cuz I have a plus 9 persuasion. Yeah, you could I mean go for it. I don't know what this means. Right now? That's up to you. Right now? It's up to you. Do you want me to actually look up the stats for a Sphinx? I can look it up. I'm just like, I don't know them off the top of my head. I mean, I can look at it since I was already kind of looking at the list or the um, thing. But a, what kind of Sphinx was it, though? Because there's like, holy shit. There's Technically, like... this one's an Andro Sphinx. Okay. Um, so... Print screen. Um, okay, so, um, it has a plus four, plus four for wisdom, since that would be what insight is, it's wisdom. Yep, it also doesn't specialize in insight, so it doesn't have any extras for that. <laughs> yeah, so it's just gonna be a straight four. Although it does plus have four. a plus ten in perception. <sighs> that doesn't, that <laughs> it, doesn't to mean- To notice if it's, if you're trying to convince it. <laughs> well, hey. um- Jesus, that's awesome. Here's the fun thing. Here's the fun thing, Axel. I'm going to go ahead and post something in, uh... Fucking, where do I post this, even? Um... Please don't you dare try to charm the damn thing, because I ain't going to do Snapchat? shit. No. What are we doing? It with which I rolled a natural 20 for a total of 29. Oh, that's gonna be tough to beat. I'll just put it in general. Fuck it. Here's my screenshot of my D&D. &D ah, you got lucky. Blend. I only rolled a 19. So, okay. Alright, so, so you have, uh, so what are you, uh, what are you trying to do here? 
There's no saving rolls. You you rolled now. <laughs> I was gonna say like I was gonna let our uh, Florence give her her give me her armor choice. Um, I was gonna trade the deck of many things for the armor, the ring, the crossbow, the loot. And Florence is shit. Pay, is, is uh, for I'll, all the I'll, shit. I'll, I'll trade you for five dollars. Oh crap! <laughs> but no. So, so why are you like this? Fucking <laughs> hell! I There's a fucking you. Sphinx. He works at a casino. Come on! It's a it's a wondrous item. I have it here. <laughs> exactly, and it's coming right back. It's only coming right back if I use it. Everyone uses the deck. I'm not no. gonna use the deck. Uh, no, we're deck. not that dumb. As much as everyone the uses the deck. The last time somebody used this fucking deck, they fucking disappeared. Yep, and he knew what it would do. Let's see, we have common sense. This this deck comes in and out of here very often. If you think I'm worried about you not using it, I'll just wait for someone to know you have it, kill you, take it, and use it. How about this, then? How about this, then? I also have, and I pull out my magic hairpin, I also have my magic one-of-a-kind hairpin. <laughs> Who? Where did you get that? A bar doesn't reveal her secrets. Okay, because I don't know who told you it was one of a kind. No, it's totally one of a kind. I'll persuade roll. <laughs> Go for it. Oh my god, this is great. This is just getting better. And Florence is not in the middle. But she's minding her damn business looking through the catalog. 25. 25. All right, let's see. It's going to use its perception to see. See what you're doing. Ah, I rolled garbage. It's like, all right, it's uh, one of a kind. It's also very uh, useless. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure this is very useful. <laughs> it's magic. You're gonna have to keep rolling here. <laughs> <laughs> Would that be persuasion or deception? <laughs> Uh, technically, uh, I guess that's all and if you actually believe it's useful. <laughs> In this instance, it could be very useful for me. <laughs> Is it useful? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Alright. If that's how you feel, you, you go ahead and, and roll that, that, uh, persuasion. I rolled a one! <laughs> Son of a god. Well, uh, not only does he not believe you, he's starting to rethink this whole fucking deal. <laughs> it's like, have you ever seen a 20 foot stone eyebrow raise into the air questioning? <laughs> okay, I'm fucking crying. God. It's, it's not stone, but still. <laughs> a few arbors and looked it over and just like got a quick question and a few other questions because you know you do have a plus two armor here and yes, i'm guessing yes. it is studded it is indeed okay but is there anything you know fancy with it well we have a couple different versions of that particular studded armor we have one that's immune to fire one that shoots out light uh, we have one that will kill all your enemies with a single touch. That's my favorite. Out of character. <laughs> um, <laughs> out of character. What are the chances? Out of character. What are the chances of me convincing this sphinx that my current loot is magical? <laughs> You really want to know? Mm-hmm. Uh, just barely above zero? Mm. True, but it's a token. I have a quick question for you, out of character, since we're already away from it, and we've sailed- this ship has sailed this fucking far, right? 
but here's the question. <laughs> what would our chances of us actually getting away with robbing this freaking place? Uh, maybe like 25% or something. That's what I thought. 25%? Hey, that's so high! That's pretty much the success uh, likelihood of any hunt. A hunt in what? Any hunt. In what? Anything. Any hunt. Any hunt, period. Any animal, any person, the average success rate is 25%. I'm not taking my chances with that. We've already, uh, trust me. And that's why you'll never be remembered. Don't take chances. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I just quoted the movie Troy. Yeah, I, I, yep, I just, that's, that's why that whole quote just lost its burn. It's just like, <laughs> when you quote the movie Troy, you burn yourself. Thank you. Cause mm. for goodness sakes, Mr. I'm the Zom, uh, Mr. Mummy. That is quietly. He did the mash. He did the mummy mash. You know what? I may be dead, but at least I'm having fun being dead. He is. Yeah, he's doing something stupid. I mean, what's the worst that's gonna happen? But Wedge perma dies. Wedge stuck as tiny blob of baby. <laughs> Turn him into a slime, and he can't hurt anyone. You know, that's actually oddly specific. <laughs> <laughs> I really Great, want this to turn into a spin off of that time I was reincarnated as a slime. Out of character, I really want this loot. How can I get this loot in my possession right now? You can steal it. You can kill the Sphinx. Yeah! Yeah, no. yeah you no. sure you could! <laughs> totally! You could totally kill the CR 17 fucking Sphinx. Yeah, no, we are. That is also, that is also a 12th level spellcaster. With yeah, whose know. attacks all count as magical weapons? Absolutely. Yeah, no. Do not actually take that as a challenge, Carly. I really, I really want this loot. I forgot they have <laughs> legendary actions. Yeah. They do too, that too. This is why this is slowly listing off my reason why I don't want to piss off this thing. How about this? How about this, Sphinx? Florence, you're on your own, sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, I see how about happen. this? Um, I set aside the loot, even though I very gently set my hand on it and I whisper, soon. Soon. And then I set it aside, and I pull together the armor and the flame tongue crossbow, total worth almost 10,000 gold, and I set it in a pile. And then I pull out my ruby, and I sit it beside the pile, and I say, this ruby costs 10,000 gold. I like but how you assume the items are just, like, on the table in front of you. I'm 100% assuming that. <laughs> He's totally just gonna lay him out at the table like, here, pick it up, take a look at it. <laughs> Orange is quietly just thinking to herself, okay, if she's gonna do run this, okay. I, I have here this 10,000 gold ruby. I will trade you this 10,000 gold ruby for the armor and the crossbow plus 200 gold well i guess for the the lower end models that'll definitely cover most of the costs for, for the nicer mates. glamour armor i wrote down is 4800 the flame tongue crossbow purple flame plus 2d6 fire damage is 5000 gold oh okay sorry you're just wanting those i thought you were getting something mm -hmm. nicer I sat aside the, the loot and I just took the ram's ring away. But the loot, the loot has my heart. I will be back for it. Well, this ruby was priced at the entrance, yes? Correct. That means um, you're going to have to pay the taxes on it when you leave.
Because this is technically an exchange. Okay, fine. How about this? <laughs> I will pay you the ruby the, for these two items and the taxes for them. And gold. Well, you'll want to keep those taxes on you for when you leave. Yeah. I'm just letting you know. The, the, mm -hmm. the 10,000 from this ruby is still going to cost you. So, so, if you, if you, wait. Am I stupid? Do I not understand taxes? No, it's because you're exchange, you're, you're not accounting the exchange rate tax for the ruby. Oh, so I'm getting charged twice? Basically, because you're That's using dumb. the, well, you're using the ruby to pay. So you're what having I you can you're basically exchanging out the ruby for ten thousand. You'll have to pay the ten thousand on that, and then pay again when you pay ten thousand. So I'm being charged fifteen percent of twenty thousand. Pretty much, yeah. So I want I want to give him this ruby, and then he will give me the armor, the crossbow, and the taxes for twenty thousand gold. No, you'll give him those things, and you will still owe the taxes for twenty thousand gold when you leave. I don't have that. Yeah. Hey, here's a quick question. Here's a quick question, out of character. Do we uh, have we covered what it looks like to leave this island casino? I don't think you have. Like to leave this island casino. How do we leave? It's very similar to how you came in. You go through a scanning process, a declaratory process. You're taxed. You're given a nice sticker and a friendly memorial souvenir mug. And Carl the Kraken sings you out on the way home. What if? He's a count we... tenor, by the way. Oh, nice. What? What if we? didn't do that. Oh, well, you would be attacked on all sides by Carlos and the many defenses that protect our casino. Although... Hypothetically, of course. Although, and the Sphinx looks left and right, I have heard from a certain yes. foul person that there may be another way out of this casino. Cool. Yeah. Pray tell, what would that what would that exit look like? Well, you would have to talk to this foul person. I would love to talk to this foul person. I see. You you're happy talking with this foul person? Depends. Hypothetically. Is that foul as in the bird? Or <laughs> <is it> foul? <laughs> 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 Quack. <laughs> Quack. <laughs> yeah, Florence is not chilling with this. She's gonna just <laughs> happily stay her happy ass and pay the MP. I, I, am. <laughs> I she, would be is she not associated with these records. <laughs> but yeah, he's like, Quack. And the Sphinx says, Hello, Donald. Quack. Donald. Quack. Donnie. Donnie, baby. Quack. How much sway do you actually have here at this carnival? Cause can you get me that loot? Donnie looks over. Quack. Well, it depends, Donnie says. On. Don Donnie looks over at the Sphinx again, who gives him a little bit of a nod. Quack. Donnie, Donnie says that your problems and his problems are the same problems. Donnie, Donnie has a way out. He just needs a way in. And you're his ticket in. <laughs> Quack. Okay, but that didn't answer my question about the loot. Like, I, I actually really want that loot. Specifically that loot. Quack. I mean, Donnie says he can, but you gotta help with the heist. Okay. Quack. And you gotta convince the, the elfie thing to do it too. <laughs> the elfie thing. 
Florence at, at is which, ignoring At which point Sarah Show laughs in in Snake. <sighs> I I walk over to Florence and I take her hands and I take her hands very delicately and I say, Florence, listen. Ooh, there's nothing in me that wants to deal with these. You know, you're too quiet again. I said I'd pull me pull her closer so that I can actually hear what she's saying. Florence, listen to me. I just, okay. I just want you to think about for a moment that library over in the city. They're not going to give you a card because you don't live here. You can't buy, you can't get a library card for the state you don't live in. <laughs> I love how I'm it's just like basic <laughs> ass shit. It's just like, wait, it's so simple. Is that really what's stopping us from saving the world? No library card? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, Moodle <laughs> looks at her. Trust me, trust me, I've tried to get a library card for a state I didn't live in. They didn't let me. Well, this is not a state, though. <laughs> you're right, it's not a state. It's an entirely different country, so therefore you're definitely not getting it. And you're definitely not getting a library card. Exactly. Oh, hush you! Hush the undead! <laughs> Speak nothing! Speak no more to me, you evil, vile creature. You're supposed to be seizing. Someone should have knocked. It. Aren't you knocked out? Think, think of all that cool armor <coughs> and the weapons you just looked at in your cool, cool little book there. Think of all those things. You can't get those or your library card to get all the magical books that you could ever want ever without just, doing this just... one little, little thing for me. I already know what it is, and she looks at the, uh, looks at Donnie and looks at Sergio and just like, but it's not worth dealing with those two. Quack. But I just I put I put my hands on her cheeks and I make her look at me and I say, no, look, look, only look at me, only look at me. Yeah. You're only no, honey, you're, me, you're not can, you're not selling me on this thought process. No, you're only looking at me, Florence. You're just thinking about me. Oh. Okay. I. I <laughs> swear to you. You won't have to deal with them at all. I will throw the snake to the kraken. That's if he bothers you. I mean, that is tempting, but here's my counter argument. Mm -hmm. I my feel my hands are still on her cheeks, by the way. Yeah, I know, but keep. <laughs> oh, look at them chunky cheeks. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Out of it, out, out, O U T L, nope. <coughs> well, Florence. No. Just this one little thing. It won't take any time at all. You're the smartest person I know. All we'll need to do is just work on one little tiny little thing. Just a little thing. Nope. If we get caught, well, then what? Quack. If we get caught, then it's a problem for our future us. No, that is not we probably for two We won't get caught. And, 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 and then she kind of let a I put, tries to I put look around. Over her mouth. I put my hand over her mouth. Shush, 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 shush. No, 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 no. Shush, 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 shush. Mm. Quiet. No, no. If we get caught, we blame it all on the bird and the snake. Because we're not, we're not going to get caught, though. I'm a bard. Uh -huh. Bro, I'm a bard. My, my deception is like plus six. You know, that's something you should not be happy and proud of. You know that, right? I am, though. I am, though. Yeah, that's not that's not concerning. No, it shouldn't be. It is very concerning. No, no, no. Yes. No. But come on, Florence. Think of all the magical knowledge you're going to get after we complete this casino heist. Not paid enough for that. Florence, come on. Nope. Florence. Mm-mm. Florence? Mm-mm. The only thing concerning here is the mass party pooper of a wizard we got. <laughs> I'm ignoring the dead. Florence, if you don't want to learn more magical information, then they have over there in that other that other room we were just in, you could change your class so you're not a wizard anymore. If you don't want to learn all of this new magical knowledge that we're going to get. That's I'm problem. sure I hear Barbarian is very popular now. Florence looks at Carly with the just not amused look. Like, that's an insult. <laughs> like, you have insulted the living crap out of her. 
I mean, surely any wizard worth her worth her weight in in salt would would you know be jumping at the chance to to learn about all these new magical things we're going to be discovering that's been heart- hiding away in the bowels of this casino for the last hundred years. But I mean, like but I mean maybe you'd make a good barbarian. Maybe you'd make a good barbarian. Lord looks at you. Uh, Carly is getting the most evil eyes she can muster. Carly, Carly steps back and says, "If you don't want to learn all of these new magical secrets in the library, feel free to try and get a card by yourself. But I mean, you'd have better luck as a barbarian." Florence is a gasp and kind of like, you know what? If it's so wonderful, then why don't you go do it? Have fun. And she just kind of walks, briskly walks away from Florence, uh, Carly. I turn to the duck and say she'll be back. I planted the de- the drop of doubt in her brain. Plus, there's no fucking way she can afford any kind of tax to get off this fucking ship. Why do you say that? Um, because I know for a fact you have at least five level one stones, not not counting however many you had before. Um, and you've gained quite a lot of gold. Um, let me see here. You've gained 127 and a half gold. I'm sorry, no, 450 gold total. You gave me half of it. So, currently, you only have 127 and a half gold, plus uh, your five (coughs) spell stones. Each one of those costs, let me look here. Hmm. Uh, Note keeping. Five gold apiece. So, five gold times five is at least 25 gold. So, you'll be taxed on that 25 gold exchange rate, plus however much you have in addition to that, plus 15% of 450 gold. I don't know if you guys you noticed, half. but I designed this place to to show the evil of taxes. Yeah, taxes yeah, suck. But you're not going to be able to afford to get out of here without me. Why do you say that like as if you are the pride and jewel of this place? Because I have 45, I have at least 7,500 gold ruby. I'm sorry, 10,000 gold ruby. Um, plus 211 gold, plus a magic hairpin, and... I'm about to get this fancy ass loot. <laughs> and plus, you were supposed to split the amount from that ten thousand ruby, if I remember correctly. Uh, no, I gave you. I said once I exchange it, you can have twenty five or two thousand gold for the taxes. However, does not apply if we're not together. So you left. So she'll be back. And then Florence does not come back because she's like, no, fuck this shit. She's not that damn stupid. <laughs> Good luck trying to get off the boat. <laughs> Florence will freaking have ways of getting off. Good luck. She'll be back, duck. She'll be back. Quack. So talk to me. How are you going to get me this this loot? How are you going to get me this loot? Quack. Well, Donnie says that Bob here. Yeah, I'm Bob. Donnie says uh-huh. that Bob here as well as many other workers at the casino have been working planning this robbery for a while. Okay. There are many levels and layers to it. It may be that we have to split up into teams. The, the, the truth is that you can get this loot and much more from the vault. We can get you this loot now in exchange for promises of your services. And of course, you won't have to pay the standard tax rate because we're not leaving out the front door. Would I have to, would I have to pay anything at all, or would you just give me the loot? I mean, you would get a fair share of loot. No, the loot, the the that loot, the DOS loot. Oh, DOS right loot? Now. No, you could have that. <gasps> Yay! I take it. If you agree to help. I've already agreed. You've got my agreements. All right. I'll shake your hands. Give me your hands. Quack. Donnie says he doesn't have hands. How are we meant to agree to this deal then? Quack. Donnie says you will seal it in a blood pack. I take out my dagger. I want this fucking loot. All right. Uh, so, uh, you know, you, I don't know. 
where you want to cut yourself. Um, I take off my jacket and I go for the meat of my forearm. Because right. I'm not fucking crazy and cutting the palm of my hand. I'm a goddamn musician. I have standards. So, uh, as you do that, uh, there's, like, an employee just, like, walking around and Donnie just, like, jumps up and cuts his throat. The employee's throat? Yeah. And then he, like, dips his foot in the blood and then, like, t touches your side and, and just quacks. It's like, Donnie says, done. And I'm just sitting there with just, like, my mouth just agape, just like, what the fuck? At which point, Katharis just slowly starts dragging the body back into this area back here. Okay, I feel like uh, the trauma earned there also earns me the armor and the flame tongue crossbow. Quack. Donnie, Donnie says, what trauma? The trauma from just watching this di dude die in front of me. Quack. Donnie says he died to seal seal the trust of our deal. It was a sacred pact. In a, do you know what a blood pact is, Donnie? Quack, do you? Donnie, Donnie says, do you? <laughs> You're the one who offers up the blood. Quack, Donnie offered up way more blood than you. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's all over the place. Can I have the armor and, uh, and crossbow then? Quack. Donnie says, fine. Yay! He says, you humans and, you, and your weird pussy blood packs. <laughs> Thus, Florence is not following this shit up. That's the kicker here. Florence is no be back. No, 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 no. I'll be back. What do I look for to find this armor in D&D Beyond? Oh, fuck. It most likely isn't in D and D Beyond. Yeah. Oh, studded Not leather. Much. Well, I mean, basic studded leather will be in there. Yeah. Okay, so. But that's the what it is, right? Yeah, it won't show you the enchantment. To be fair, that enchantment's like not a one you have to check. It's just one you have to remember the effect because uh, it's pretty basically. It really is, I and it's a continuous. <laughs> it's a continuous thing, so it's. Yay, now my armor class is 15. Wait, I thought it would be 16. Oh, you know what? A regular studded might not have the same bonuses. Mm. Uh, it's short one, because remember, it's a plus one. It's supposed to be. <coughs> right, so you're at, it, it would actually give you a bonus. So how do I make that happen in You might be able to look up magic armor that just has plus one. You could just look up plus one studded leather. Plus? But I'm not sure if it'll just give you regular plus one studded leather or plus one magic studded leather. Studded leather. Uh... Ooh, what about the ring? Can I have the ring too? Hmm... I think we're gonna hold off on the ring to make sure you you, you, no. you do well. That'll be a bonus. I found plus one studded leather. All right, we'll see if it works. If not, yes, it does. Now my armor class is sixteen, and then a flame tongue crossbow. That one probably exists. Flame. There's tons of swords. Huff. Crossbow. Lame. So the only thing that extra that the crossbow does is it does 2d6 fire damage, right? Yes. Extra fire damage. 
Okay. Crossbow. How do I edit? Customize. Damage bonus. D. So oh, cool, it doesn't let me do that. <laughs> Plus 2D6 fire. Cool, that'll work. Okay, awesome, 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 awesome. Um, and then the, the, the loot. Is that an actual loot that exists in D and D Beyond? What is that? The DOS loot. That might actually, but I'm not sure because I think it's yes, it is. It is. How does it? How is it spelled? D O S S. Yeah. D O S S. Mm -hmm. That not one is. In the... Yeah. All right. I figured it might not be. <clears throat> I think it's on an expansion. Yeah. <sighs> Hmm, that's difficult. I don't know how I'm going to add that. Um, why not do a loot and add the little description for it? It's true. Could do I that. Will, I mean, I can get that. Yeah, just send me. Can you send me the description, please, darling? Thank yeah. you. Anyway, so I have all my cool stuff now. Florence is going to be super jealous. No, that's not how this generally works. This one-up game is not going to work on her. I put on my glamoured armor. And I make it look like I am wearing this really cool, like... Like... Elegant, like, red dress. Shiny. Fly as hell. I look awesome. And I toss my hair and I say, Donnie, how do I look? Quack. With your eyes. Hey, Donnie, how much HP do you have? Quack. That's a weird question to ask. Uh, now that you mentioned it, maybe like, uh, like six or something. <laughs> ah, weird, 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 weird. Sure would be a shame if someone vicious mocked, mockeried you. Quack. Yeah, that's a, that's a weird, weird thing to mention right now. No, well, Donny, I ask again, how do I look? <laughs> Donny? <laughs> how do I look, Donny? Donny, Donny. smart here. Donny, <laughs> Donny, how do I look, Donny? <laughs> Quack. Donny, you've... I, strike, I strike a pose. <laughs> Quack. You just Catharis looks up and then he looks down and then he looks up and he looks down again. Uh. Can you cue someone from the other side said, just say it looks nice. He said by turning your head. <laughs> you dumb motherfucker. Make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> You didn't make it, you took two damage. Un unfortunately, you took two damage. Ow! That's Why? <laughs> well, one, uh, magic isn't allowed in here. Oh. But, uh, even if it were, which it technically kind of is at the section Donnie is at, uh, Donnie uh, is immune to all forms of verbal magic. But why did I take two damage? Uh, that was a side effect of uh, of of the magic. <laughs> yeah, a side effect of using magic in a non-magic area. Mm. Yeah. To be fair, you're like on a bridge of a magic non-magic area because where the Sphinx sits, magic. Where Donnie sits, like half magic. Where you sit, not magic. Hmm. Mm. Where Cathara sits, like, 85.5% magic. Or, sorry, not Johnny, magic. Johnny, I'm only going another grudge against you. This is a bad thing. You're in my grudge book twice. 
Quack. Tony says he didn't like that movie. <laughs> that movie was trash. I mean, that movie was worse than Troy. Grudge, Donnie didn't tell me I looked pretty. I mean, he's not obligated to. He is, because he didn't even take my damage. Quack, he's not obligated to lie to make you feel better. <laughs> no, son of a bitch! This is mockery <laughs> on Dying Wedge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You do have fun with this. This is why Florence is not in the middle of this shenanigan. Quack, Donnie says that you're not pretty. You a fly, bitch. Hell yeah, Donnie. Hell yeah. There we go. <laughs> Donnie. I crossed out my grudge against you, Donnie. Quack. It's been resolved. Donnie, Donnie says good. You can't have grudges on the job. Quack. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Quack. Donnie says that movie's awful even if you watch it at work. I've never watched it. Quack. Donnie says good. <laughs> then he looks right, wistfully then. into the distance. <laughs> <laughs> Of a time when he did not walk. <laughs> of a time when he too was free of the pain. <laughs> Quack. But Donnie <laughs> says that anyway, the thing about this deal is we have 24 hours before this. Before. We, we have to finish this before the casino gets back into town tomorrow. So we only have 24 hours to execute the plan. Okay. Okay. Tell me about your plan. And actually, we have less than 24 hours now. That's fine. It's fine. Yeah. We've got this. Tell me about the plan. So, the plan is many-tiered. The tier we mm -hmm. heard about earlier is the part that we would need your help with. At least one of them. Which is basically feeding Carlos. But not feeding Carlos. But also cleaning up after Carlos. It's a dual job. Anyway, the point being that that is just a small part of the plan. There are two or three other sections of the plan that have to come together in order for the Carlos section to work. Bob here is in charge of one section of that plan. What's up, guys? Quack. Donnie says that this plan basically involves throwing the casino into total chaos, then taking advantage okay. of the fact that Carlos will be hungry from not being fed and will be hard to control. So here is how it goes. The Pokemon music. <laughs> he says, the four stages that we need to do to make sure this casino heist go off properly are as follows. We need to make sure to become Bob's feeding team, which means we will have to take out Bob's current feeding team in secret. You mean Carlos's? Yes, sorry. Apologies. No Bob problem. has no feeding team. Well, actually, you shut up, Bob. Bob, you should definitely have a feeding team. You deserve that. You should talk to HR about that. Thank you, thank you. I talked You're to welcome. Pamela in HR last week, but we're robbing the place, so, mm. you know. Yeah, that's kind of fair. Yeah. Uh, speaking of, Pam in HR is one of the people who's going to help us. Nice. See, we have several disgruntled employees who are currently uh, near the breaking point. The Modrons are some of them. They're just... Modrons are on the team! <gasps> Florence, come here! Mike is in on it. Well, everyone but Mike. Aw. Yeah, we uh, we couldn't risk that. You know, shame and all. Shame. Mike, no, Mike, no Mike, shame. Mike, Mike. Even even the uh, the Sphinx is just like Mike. <coughs> sorry, sorry. It's in, it's infectious. They do that every day, dude. You have no idea Corfin. how hard it is to not to say it. Okay, okay. <laughs> mm, excuse me. So, okay. what 
Pamela and HR is going to do is send out a fake notice of pay cuts. Okay, Pam. Pam, fake notice of pay cuts. This is going to require a little bit of corporate espionage. As we are going to have to sneak into certain director's office within the building and steal their credentials in order to make this look legit. Well, now, is it sneaking into it, or is it, or is there a way to sort of seduce our way into it, into his office? Well, you can seduce your way in, but he can't see you taking what we need. So, you know, this loot that has invisibility on it? Do you, do you really think that a place like this hasn't accounted for that? Yeah, fair. There's like four beholders in every room. Fair. We'll think of it. We'll, I'll, I'll brainstorm. In addition to that will be Bob's job. See, Bob here, in addition to being the, uh, you know, trader for this room, also works it really closely with one of the security guys. They're the hardest guys to get over to our side. They actually make more than we do. So he's going to have to uh, convince our security guy to give him the codes. We kind of left that strategy up to Bob. So we're going to have to ask him about that. Bob, how are you going to do it? Yeah, I'll figure it out. <laughs> I... I mean, seduction is still a good way to go. Every man only thinks with one brain, and it's not up here. And I tap my forehead. It's true. Uh, unfortunately, not all of the uh, the heads are male or humanoid. Just find one that's a male. It doesn't have to be humanoid. Well, if it was just any director, I mean, cool, but we have to kind of get certain credentials from certain people oh okay however the I security mean, thing is going to be way. an issue because to get to where we need our security there is going to be quite a journey the security depot is not easy to get to and we're not supposed to be there okay and then we have the final part of the plan which donnie is supposed to take care of I thought you said there were four stages. I only count three. You got mine, Pamela's, Donnie's, and the stage of the oh, crash. Carlos. Yes. Carlos. Right, 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 right. Okay, okay, okay. Donnie's stage of the plan is, uh... Wait, what are you doing, Donnie? Quack. Donnie says to let him worry about that. Donnie, we have a blood pact. Quack. We're kind of in it now, so just tell me what's your, what's your deal. Quack. Donnie says that the very fabric of reality could be in danger if he were to tell you his plan in detail. All right, you got to be full of shit, Donnie. Quack. All right, well, you don't gotta, you don't gotta yell at me, Donnie. It's not nice to yell. Quack. Donnie. Go the fuck out, Donnie. Quack. Donnie says he'll Thank take you. care of things. He's he's not like you amateurs. <clears throat> Jerk. I mean, technically they are amateurs. Wedge is unconscious right now, so can't really count it for that. Mm -hmm. True. Carly's looking fine as hell. Just saying. Okay. So overall, this seems like a very simple heist. It is very simple. There's not a lot of complicated pieces, just a lot of heavy actions that need to be taken. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they all need to be done within a coordinated amount of time. Once again, we only have 24 hours, but in addition to that, some of these plans have to be done at specific times, and some of them have to be done at the exact same time. 
Mm. For instance, I cannot get the security code for you guys to actually access the treasure vault until after and during the feeding of Carlos. Okay. And until the the distractions from both Donnie and Pam are done, we can't even start. Why can't we get why can't we start to get the director's codes for the for the to start Pam's distraction? Because we will unfortunately still be under watch. Under watch? By the security team. Okay, so what are like order of operations here? So what's our order of operations? Here's how the plan goes. Pamela begins her distraction. Okay, so she's first. Yes, distraction enables us to get into security with the excuse of a gone wild and crazy scene. Donnie is also supposed to trigger another distraction while we're in the security room that will enable panic and hopefully allow us to get the information we need at that time as well as escape afterwards from the security team. Okay, so really, though, sneaking into the director's office to steal the credentials is the first part of this plan. Well, unfortunately, no, because, once again, those codes, right, we will need for the Carlos stuff, not mm -hmm. for the treasure vault, which are where the security code's from. The Carlos codes, unfortunately, have to be gotten from the directors during the distraction. Otherwise, oh, oh, okay, that was my mistake. I thought I thought Pam couldn't send out the fake notice until we got the director's codes. That was my mistake. No, sorry. The, the, the codes and their credentials are different. Oh, the credentials. So we right, can I do, do have credentials there. So we do, yeah. we can't, I forgot, we can get credentials for that at any time for the notice. Does anyone have a plan to get those credentials from the director? No. Cool. Okay. So it seems like it seems like my uh, um... Oh, there's not a seduction stat? I thought there was a seduction stat. Why would there be a seduction stat? Because <laughs> it's D&D! &D. Is, is there a, like, beer chugging stat? I mean... <laughs> Clearly a constitution. <laughs> what do I roll to seduce someone? Persuasion. Persuasion? That seems so icky. But that's basically what you're doing when you're trying to attract someone. Icky! I have a plus nine. Oh, well, no. you are a bard. Yeah. It's no. true. I'm an entertainer in a pretty red dress right now. Hey, oi, Bob. Bob, darling. Oi. Do you have anything that would help me with persuasion? Maybe bump up my stats a little bit. Hmm. And then... And stats is obviously a, a, a euphemism. Oh gosh! <laughs> well, I got a a band of breasts. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Oh, gosh. I like that one. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Do you have anything else? Cause I kind of already have that. I already have that area covered. <laughs> See. I go back to the weird crap for five so, seconds. The only thing I think we have in stock right now is a circlet of persuasion. What would that do? Gives you a plus three competence bonus on all charisma based checks. <laughs> so would that be a, my persuasion plus three then? Yes. Can I borrow it? Or can I have it? <coughs> Uh, what is it called again? Circlet of... Persuasion. There's a circle of lasting. Persuade. Cool, oh, shit, this there. might be from 3.5. Five. I don't think they moved it over to 5e. Let me see. <coughs> Alright, instead we're gonna have to go with the charm of attraction. Oh no, this is not it either. What the fuck? Good. 
actually, this might sound crazy. But there is one thing we have currently in stock that can increase your charisma. Okay. And you actually have it already. I have it already. Yes. Is it the hairpin? What is it? No, not not the hairpin. You have it already? I currently have it on my person? I believe so. Is that the ruby? Is it the armor? No. The loot? No. I have it on my person? Are you sure I have it on my person? Well, you never really gave it to me, so... I did give you the dress. It's the dress, isn't it? No. It's a deck of many things? Yeah. I'm not pulling a card from the deck of many things. That fucks up everybody. Well, unfortunately, one of the only things that purely raises charisma is the star card. But I could also not pull that card. And pull any of the other cards. Chances are high. I just thought you liked gambling. I thought you liked gambling. <laughs> if, you, if you had a guarantee that I'd only pull that card. That's not gambling. That's not gambling. I didn't say gambling. Damn. I was the one who brought up the gambling. <laughs> I'm absolutely not going to do that. In that case, unfortunately, I don't think we have anything in stock that could currently help you. Not gonna do it. You want me to do really bad? I'm not gonna do it. It's pretty funny. I'm tempting you. I didn't even think about it until you asked about it and I looked up what things possibly raise your charisma. There's like five things, and that's one of them. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. I mean. let's see. I'm sure I'll just roll a natural 20 when I roll my my seduction persuasion. I'm oh, it. whoops. It's fine. I forgot my GM button. Oh, what what is that for? Not you. Oh, okay. But I want to know what it's for for me. That's for a certain disembodied voice that's been talking a lot. You're quiet again. I said this was for the disembodied voice that keeps talking and very chatty. <laughs> okay, so what tell me about this this director that we need to get the the credentials. We well, actually about need it. three okay. different sets of credentials. Of course we do, because our job's not easy, is it? Well, I never said it was. <sighs> Quack. Donnie says that one set of credentials will be easy. We can get okay. it from a p package delivery. Since he's the head of receiving, we should be able to get away with it. The second one we'll need is the head of HR, and the third is the head of financials. We technically need the president's seal, but Donnie has already acquired that. Quack. Head of HR and what else? Uh, head of financials. Okay, why do I need finance? Okay, sure. Why delivery? Why are we delivering these credentials to get out a mass email? Well, one, it's not an email. I don't know what those are. Two, these Thin people mail. were all people who would be responsible for the policy changes we have listed underneath the thing. If we want okay, it to fair. look real, we'll need them. Okay. So, the delivery is easy, so we can do that no problem. Where do these directors keep their credentials? 
much. Well, their credentials are usually either in their office or on their person. Okay. Do we know where HR and financials keeps there specifically? Unfortunately, no. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, the head of HR then. Tell me about the head of HR. Well, she is a uh, is a lovely, lovely demon. I've never met her in person. I heard she's a bitch. However, she is the head of HR. Uh, she likes to hang out near the uh, bottom right parts of the casino when she's out on the floor and manages to circle around once or twice a day in order to check on employees. She's actually quite good at her job. Anybody know which way she swings? No. <laughs> no, we, we, we don't know. Very good work-life balance. I like that. Um, well, tell me about the head of financials then. Oh, what's her name, by the way, the head of HR? Uh, the head of HR? Her name is... Yeah. Wait, I actually gotta look it up. Shit. Vivan Odom. Sivan so. Odom. Okay. So tell me about the head of financials. Well, I actually don't know anything about him. We don't know anything about him? Absolutely nothing. We don't even know his name. Or where he's at. How, pray tell, then, do you expect me to seduce his, his credentials out of him? Well, I didn't suggest that. You suggested that. <clears throat> you said you needed our help. What else am I to assume? Well, I mean, I don't know why you assume that so quickly. It's actually quite disturbing. But. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bard. What do you want from me? Well, I can sing him a little song. Maybe he'll get his credentials from him that way. Well, I don't know. Maybe he will. He might be a music fan. <laughs> I didn't write his biography. <laughs> you don't know anything about him, apparently. Anyway. Then what is your plan to try and get the credentials from the director? Uh, find him and beat him up. It's one way. It, 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 you know, it's pretty simple. Does does anybody know what Bob know what he uh, looks like? Bob, do you know what the head of financials looks like? Bob uh, says, I think I met him once at a at a drunken mixer or something. Hmm. I don't know his name or where he hangs out, but I'm I'm pretty sure that he he's a mind flayer. A mind flayer? <laughs> I'm no big the fuck out of here. I'm done. <laughs> a mind flayer. There's, okay. there's a lot of things Wedge will fight. A mind flayer is not one of them. I like how that's okay. your limit, giant. Mutant mimic the size of a fucking country. Go for it. Fucking mind flare? Nope. That's the thing. We didn't actually fight the mimic. 
a little bit of this, a little bit of that. <laughs> mind flare, okay. Can I look around and see if I see any mind flares around? I guess the more important question is, is does Carly know what a mind flare is? And the answer to that is most likely a very, very astute no. Okay, I'm a bard of lore, okay? Is it lore? Or the one where I know a lot of things about a lot of shit? Yeah, it should be lore. Yeah, what do I roll to make sure I know what a mind flare fucking is? Uh, mind flare? Who could be the monster in a lot of my fucking stories? Wedge. <laughs> anyway, what do I roll? Uh, for that, I guess. Shit, I always, I never know for these ones. To to see if she knows what a mind player is. Ye. Uh. They used to have like history knowledge sections for this in three five, but. I would say just a base intellect roll. Yeah, fuck it. Intelligence go. Are we sure it's not a history roll? Is there a history section? There well, is history. There, there's general history, which is intellect. Yeah. Uh, but, whole lore well, about historical events, legendary people, ancient kingdoms, past disputes, race and wars, and lost civilizations. Yeah, that should be fine. Uh, cool. And it it does matter if it's if it's a category because she had, could have proficiency bonus in it. I do actually. Yeah, that's why I ask. Yes. So yeah, history should definitely do it. I didn't know they just had a history category. Dirty 20. Oh, nice. Uh, so, to explain... <clears throat> Mind flyers, flyers, flares, flurs. Mind flares, also known as illithids, meaning mind flares or mind rulers in Undercommon, are sometimes refers, referred to as the Gaik by the Githyaki, and are evil and sadistic aberrations feared by sentient creatures on worlds across the multiverse due to their powerful innate psionic abilities. Uh, deep dwellers of the Underdark, these alien humanoid-looking beings sought to expand their dominion over all other con creatures, controlling their minds to use them as a hopeless slave and devouring their brains for sustenance. They're also the very big bads of Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah, it's why Michael's scared of them. I know what a mind flare is. I I personally like player know what a mind flare is. Oh, nice. Uh, <laughs> I believe uh, they were also brought up in the Legends of Drizzt because I believe he ran into them before. Do I know if a mind flayer would have some sort of motive sense, like would know the motive of why I'm talking to him? Well, give me a moment. I don't know if they ever brought. I don't know if they ported it. All right. Bam, 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 bam. So they're not telepathic. They're psionic. <laughs> Uh, what's the difference? The uh, player doesn't know that one. <laughs> psionic is basically telepathic. It does have detect thoughts, though. So I have to watch your thoughts around that one. I'd also be careful around this guy, because while not as big as yours, they do have quite big persuasion and insight bonuses. Big insight and persuasion. Okay. So, seduction might work with the demon. But with financials, probably best options be fucking jump and beat him up yeah that's what we thought you know yeah because they might have to tech thoughts they have very high persuasion very a lot of insight and your girl don't fuck with people who got lots of insight literally and figuratively 
See, that was hilarious. My humor is wasted on you people. I'm sorry I'm responding. Ugh. Florence, are you in yet? Are you in on our plan? I don't. I don't. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so either. I don't care. I have the loot. I have the loot. That's all I need. Um, it's a very fancy loot. So, okay. So the problem now is I need a rest. I need like eight hours rest before really anything big happens. Because I have currently fucking zero spells. So here's what I think we should do. Hmm. Out of character, what we could do is we could end here and take and take a week because it could be a good ending spot before we do any of the shit we'd have planned. I definitely wouldn't mind that necessarily. Uh, I also thought it was something that I can now point out out of character. Uh, Y'all missed the town. What? Yeah, remember when what? I had you make that good. random perception check earlier? Good. <laughs> When you, both rolled, when you both rolled when you both rolled tens <laughs> that was the stop call because if you remember you were coming to you know change out and get ready to go because it was approaching time for you to leave but you spent so much time just talking and riddling with the sphinx and bullshitting with donnie you may have missed your stop that is so God damn funny. I like it because once again, I never force anyone into anything. I put a perception roll in there so that to see if you noticed, to see if you were paying attention. Oops. <laughs> to be fair, Jill's the one who wanted to leave, so that was up to her to keep track of. She's gonna get off anyway, like, fuck this casino. Well, we we could definitely uh we could definitely stop. Oh, look, I got I didn't see I got this. Oh man, but uh, we could definitely make that a stopping point for today if we want to. It's up to you guys. Uh, since obviously we need to rest and address things. Also, mm -hmm. Michael's. Hello? Hello? Okay, there we go. Yeah, there you go. Hey, hi, hi. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. Kai, Kai. Yeah. I think this would be a good place to good place to end for the night. I'm okay with that. I'm just happy we got together this week. I've been pretty lazy, so help. Oh fucking mood. We'll let we'll let Wedge finish his interaction real quick. Okay. Whoa. I heard that. <laughs> did you hear my zipper? I did. I, I apologize. I don't. I don't want you it getting was... your dick sucked on stream now. <laughs> <laughs> make no promises for what happens off camera. Look, as long as it's off mic. <laughs> I make no promises. Said you, I'm talking to many a girl if, on Tinder. If I'm hearing <laughs> from you or anybody else. <laughs>